Young Bagum is one of five major royal palaces here in Seoul. And this is my favorite because it is the biggest. So it was originally built in the year 1395. So at the peak, there were 300 buildings and over 6,000 rooms. <laughs> I would hate to have to clean this place, right? So I can't show you everything in here because you're gonna need a whole day or two to come explore it. I'm gonna show you just a few of my favorite spots that you can't miss the next time you come to Discover Seoul. So I know we are all worried about the pandemic, right? But luckily for us here in Korea, Korea is doing an astounding job at keeping it under control. Everywhere you go, you're required to wear a mask and there is free hand sanitizer just about everywhere. Right behind me is Gumjungjung. So this is after three main gates once you enter. Now this place was used as kind of a party place for the king and when they would have foreign dignitaries come over, they would come hang out. Luckily, guys, if you come here, there are some amazing tour guides that are around here. A lot of them speak English. And they will help you out. They are more than friendly and they are like an encyclopedia of information. So one of the gentlemen was just telling me some of the information about this and I have learned so much about it. So it's so incredible to see all this, the colors, the painting, the architecture, everything. And we're right in the middle of Seoul. So as an American, we just don't have that thousand year history that Korea does. So I really feel like I've stepped back in time. It's calming, it's serene. It's just a true experience. No matter how many times I come here, I always just feel so nostalgic. All right, guys, so no trip to Seoul would be complete without experiencing the food culture. And I am at one of my favorite places on the entire planet, Guangzhou Market. So it is located in the Zhongno area, which is adjacent to so many different tourist attractions that you'll want to check out. However, Guangzhou Market is the place to be for all things yummy. Come here hungry, I know I have. Let's go eat. So one of the representative foods you have to try to come here is this. This is called Binde Duck. So guys, what they're doing is they're taking this mung beans over here and grinding them down, and it's making like this batter over here. And then they are frying, like a really shallow fry over here. It smells incredible. I wish you guys could smell this off. Oh. So as you can see, they are just stacked up here. You can grab this food. It's super simple and super delightful. Let's, let's get one and see how it tastes. My mouth is watering, gotta try it out. Oh. <laughs> Guangzhou Market is truly my happy place. Guys, this is what Korea is all about. Let's check this out. You have all these friendly sellers here and all these hungry diners and they are just having some great meal. We have sundae and tteokbokki. There's all kinds of amazing things. And what's great too about this place in particular is that they do have signs in English. So all these English signs will tell you exactly what it is. So you can come here and order really easily. <gasps> Look at this just boiling away. So we're gonna go for two things that we have to get. So this tteokbokki, and then over here, this is sundae. This is Korean blood sausage. So she will slice that up for us. Oh yeah. Wow, kamsamnida. <gasps> Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I just want to like bathe in this. Take this bottled into a cologne. So here, this is Dokboki. So if you are watching this from the States, you're probably familiar with this. This is just rice cakes and it's in this spicy sauce and she's put some sesame seeds on it. This is kind of some thick ones too. So I think the Dokboki at Guangzhou Market is really well known for having this thick rice cake. And then this is Sundae. So it is a blood sausage with some glass noodles. And then she's got like some chili salt here. So you can dip it in that. Oh, it's a huge duck bokeh. Mmm. Oh, it's really chewy. Mmm. The sauce is a little spicy, a little sweet. Mmm. Mmm. People are so warm and welcoming and lovely. And you get to really experience a variety of great foods that really have a lot of deep ties into the Korean culture. So there's so much amazing food. So this place in particular is kind of famous here because it was featured on the Netflix show, Street Food, and also that Mark Weens. Yeah, you guys all know Mark Weens, right, from Migrationology. He was here and apparently, I remember he loved this, this raw crab. The vendor here gave me this. So this is a nakji, a small octopus. Mmm, what she say, y'all? Yeah. All right, guys, here it is. Here is the main star of our little food trip. 
here in Guangzhou Market. So this is Yu Pei. Ooh. Yes, yeah, so you gotta mix all of those layers together. For me, my favorite part is those raw pieces of the pear. Guys, this is one meal you absolutely must try when you come to Guangzhou Market. Everybody here is super friendly. Let me tell you, if you are nervous, don't worry because everything is super safe here. This is some high quality beef and all the vendors are really skilled at serving this. Oh, mm. That is unlike any other flavor anywhere else. That beef just kind of like dissolves in your mouth. It's cut so well. It's so fresh. The sesame oil gives so much incredible flavor, a little bit of nuttiness, a lot of great aroma. But then you add that Korean pear to it. Oh, it's addicting. It's almost like popcorn. Like you just want to keep eating it. Look, you can see here all day eating this. Mmm. We some of this makgeolli here. So you want to give it a nice little twirl here. Get some of that stuff out of the bottom. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that nice milky white color. So this particular makgeolli I heard is really famous with young people. All right. Cheers. Or as they say in Korea, konbae. Oh. Oh. Ooh. I can see why young people like it. I think it's a little sweeter. The normal makgeolli, a lot of times the older generations love makgeolli, especially when they go hiking. This one's a little more carbonated, a little more uh, sweet, I think. Mmm. Oh, yukle and makgeolli is a great combination. All right, guys, that was an incredible meal of yukle and makgeolli. I enjoyed it so much. There are so many great things here in Guangzhou Market. Make sure you come hungry. But there's still so many things to explore here in Seoul. BTS Army, are you out there? Are you watching? Next one is for you. Let's head out to a place called Laundry Pizza in Gangnam. Now we are at Laundry Pizza now. I know some of you are thinking, Laundry Pizza in Seoul, what's up with that? But if you are BTS Army, and I know some of you out there are, then you will know this place. So this is a really famous place on the Hallyu tour of Seoul. We're gonna go check it out. I'm gonna tell you what makes this place so special because it's more than just delicious pizza. Let's go check it out. Oh, here we are guys in Laundry Pizza. Whoa, ho, ho, look at this. Looks incredible. This really reminds me of New York style pizza, guys. Huge slices. Oh, it smells really good. So there's a few different pieces. Um, I wonder what BTS would have eaten. I think if I was BTS, I would have gone for pepperoni. It's a classic, much like BTS and myself. Ding. And laundry pizza. It's named after. So it's got to be good if it's the namesake. And then uh, I think BTS would have liked beer as well. So let's go for a beer. So uh, laundry pizza. Hanna, uh, pepperoni pizza Hanna, uh, Stella, Hanjan Chuseo. Hey. There comes Samrita. Oh, here we go. So we have our buzzer here. I can't wait for this. In just a few moments, we're going to have some amazing pizza. <laughs> All right, so you might be a little curious, you might be a little confused. Why are you in a laundromat, Paul? You know, why are there pizza condiments in the laundromat? Well, if you know anything about BTS, you might recognize this place and know that this is not a laundromat at all. So this is called Laundry Pizza and it is in Gangnam. So this place is a hot, trendy place. So BTS took their picture for the Love Yourself Her edition right here, guys. That's right, BTS actually sat in front of this decor here. And ever since then, throughout the years, this has become a huge spot for other K-pop artists, including EXID, A Pink, and Henry. They've done photo shoots here or done music videos here. So this place is well known for the Hallyu tour and people come from all over the world just to visit this place. And guys, even if you're not a K-pop fan, let me tell you, the pizza over there smells incredible. So you can still come and enjoy some great pizza, but I've come here to walk the same place that BTS did. ARMY, where are you at? All right, guys, here it is. Here is our freshly baked pizza with our nice draft beer. Oh, how cool of an experience is it? 
come around to the same places that BTS once haunted and then enjoy the same pizza that they did. It smells so good. It really takes me back to my days of being in New York. It makes me a little homesick because it smells so good. So let's dig into this. So I know in Korea, guys, usually when you eat pizza, they use a fork and a knife. But you guys would kill me if I did that, right? So I'm gonna have to let my Americanness come out. And I'm going to use my hands for this. All right, so it's a thin crust pizza. Oh, pepperoni, always a classic. Oh, mmm. It digs me back into the streets of Queens, just walking around the nice slice of pizza. Mmm. It's greasy, it's cheesy. It's everything you need in a good piece of pizza. Mm. So even if you're not into K-pop, even if you're not interested to see where BTS took their picture, you can still come here as well as a cold beer. Perfect meal here in Gangnam area. Mm. Yum. We've also gone for the laundry pizza. So this is their signature pizza. So it looks like it has pepperoni and sausage and onion and green pepper. Maybe it's like fire grilled, wood oven. Ooh. Mmm, <laughs> that's so yummy. I think I might need a little, little spicy peppers though to make it even that much better. Let's try that. Go for some red pepper flakes. Yeah. That's it. That's what I was missing. So when you come to Korea, and I hope you do soon, make sure you stop by laundry pizza, even if you're wanting to just see where BTS took a picture or if nothing else, enjoy some amazing pizza. You'll thank me, trust me. Mm. I know you might think it's crazy to travel all the way to Korea to eat pizza. This pizza might be worth it, guys. 